Missouri's banned books make national headlines, but we know that there are thousands of librarians quietly ensuring the right of free people to read freely. Here's one of those librarians. When Roots came out, I had a number of complaints about having that in the library. My response was that it was something that people should read and that we were not taking it off of the shelf because they personally felt like that it should not be there. Of course, we did not remove it from the shelves. I have had in the past, I've had a group of women who came in, go through all the paperbacks, said we had some paperbacks that many people should not be reading and they would be glad, they would be glad to go through and to pick out the ones that didn't need to be on the shelves. And I said, ladies, no, no, we don't do that. Uh, you read what you want to read and somebody else can read what they want to read. I did have a man and woman come in about a year ago and offer to go through the juvenile books because they felt like there were juvenile books that we had that children should not be reading. And again, I told them, no, that we did not do that kind of thing. You know, reading is not something that you tell people, you, this is the only thing you can read. It's like we are robots or have no sense that we can't understand when we read something that this is the author's viewpoint on some of these things and you can accept it or reject it. I mean, it's not like that they're brainwashing you. People who are so judgmental, I look at them and think, you have not, uh, you're in here wanting to tell me that this is not proper for people and you, how religious you are, and yet I don't think you've read your own religious literature. There are librarians all over Missouri, like Betty Olson, who are protecting your freedom to read. Help celebrate 30 years of Banned Books Week. Read a banned book.